capture the instructional photo blog that deconstructs an image from concept through post-processing. In this video, we're looking at the image called Water Droplets. I get a lot of dew in the morning, uh, particularly these very cold mornings in Southern California, uh, right in my backyard. So one morning I brought out the camera and attached a 100 millimeter macro lens to it so I could capture some tight close-ups of the water droplets on the plants and the delicate leaves. I set the camera up on a tripod and attached the external Canon shutter release. These are essential tools when shooting macro photography. Since I prefer to shoot at 100 ISO and rarely more than 400, the shutter generally registers around one-tenth of a second or less in this situation. Also, trying to handhold a camera at such a high magnification is also problematic due to the small area of focus. I also experimented using an off-camera flash to provide additional light. To trigger the Canon 580X2 flash, I used the Canon ST-E2 transmitter attached to the 5D Mark III's hot shoe. Since the camera was stationary, and once I set up the composition and focus, I could move around with the light and then effortlessly take multiple exposures using the external shutter release. I decided on this composition, though there were two separate exposures with different lighting. I decided on the one with the more reflective water droplets. I pulled the image into On One Software's Perfect Photo Suite 7 and began with the effects module. I started with the preset called Daily Vitamin, which punches up color and contrast and set it at 100%. I added the preset Clarity, reducing the overall effect to about 50%, then increasing local contrast to 58%. I saved this, then reopened the image into the Focus module. Using a highly adjustable mask, I created an artistic blur, allowing more emphasis on the water droplets and leaf. This module really lets you define your focus point and create as much or as little blur around your subject as you desire. Back in Aperture, I used the Retouch tool to remove white and brown spots for a cleaner and more vibrant green leaf. To create even more emphasis, I added some definition to the water droplets. I find that all images need some processing, some more than others. But post-processing is really 50% of the total photo taking process. It's critical you get a solid composition and your subject is in focus. While processing software can adjust for a slightly over or underexposed image, don't rely on it completely, especially if you are shooting in JPEG. There just isn't the latitude in post-processing. Do your best to get exposure with adequate highlights and shadows. Now even if you aren't shooting for HDR, Take multiple exposures to ensure you have something that's usable. Don't be afraid to experiment in a digital darkroom. That's what makes digital so great. You can always go back to your original if you don't like what you did and start all over.